Welcome to my channel. I am Junia Win. I am a writer. Today, I would like to talk about my grandmother, Kim Yul Chi, a writer and journalist, and her short story, The Thirty Carrot Diamond. If you missed the first video, a memory of my grandparents who came from Nepal and took him to Chit. Please watch before or after watching this video. Today, I would like to talk about my grandmother, Kim Yo Chit, and her short story, The Thirty Carrot Diamond. In 1955, my grandmother worked at the Guardian magazine as an editor. Her short story, The Thirty Carrot Diamond, was appeared in the magazine. Later, it included in the selections of the Bama Perspective Atlantic Monthly magazine in USA. It also included in the 50 Great Oriental Stories from Bantam Books in 1965. It was translated into various languages such as German, Italy, Yugoslavia, and etc. The Thirteen Carrot Diamond portrayed my grandma's true story in war time. During Japanese regime, my grandma tried to be a broker to find the one who wanted to buy a thirty-carat diamond. Grandpa drove his old and antique two-wheel mechanism called a bicycle, and grandma sitting behind and holding their child. Hoping for gaining some fortune, although they found a buyer, they could not reach the owner of the diamond. They only met a number of brokers like them. The story related amusingly, without mentioning their poverty. Without a home, without jobs, the difficulties of moving from one place to another under the Allied air raids. However, the story told amusingly. As for me, as the granddaughter of the writer, I could not have fun in the story. The Thirty Carrot Diamond and other stories, the collection of her short stories in English, was published in 1969 in Burma. Among these short stories, the bearer of the bitter casket was first appeared in the Asia magazine in Hong Kong. The other short stories were published in. The Guardian magazine and the Working People's Daily. The cover of the book was drawn by Ubaji. See the artist's impression of Grandpa driving bicycle and Grandma smiling and sitting behind holding their son. The cover of the book and inside drawings and illustrations were drawn by Ubaji. Ubaji was a famous painter and artist in Burma. I assume that he was not only a painter, 
but also a writer because his writing and the illustrated cartoon drawings for children books and magazines related to Bhami's history and Bhutan life were famous in our childhood memories. I hope I would like to tell more about Ubaji's and his paintings, drawings and illustrations for my grandma's books and her short stories. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.